Hey guys, Vizerlo Productions here, and welcome to my completely unscripted and um, completely spoiler-free review of Ukulele. So the reason I'm doing this without a script is because lots of people have been saying that my videos are better without a script. So I thought, okay, I'll try not to go off to off off, off, off topic. Sorry, I was just really annoyed because I recorded. I'm going off topic anyway. I, I it was a ukulele recording. Ugh. So basically, ukulele, if you don't know, is a game by the pe by some of the people who uh, made the Banjo Kazooie. They founded a new company called Platonic Games, and some other people are with it. But they made a game called Ukulele, which is the spiritual successor to bring back Banjo and Kazooie. Now, personally, I thought the game like starting off was a blast i loved pretty much so much of it i do have a couple complaints and that's what i'm going to be getting into so again spoiler free i'm not going to be mentioning any storyline stuff i'm just going to be mentioning some of the issues i have all right so going into the issues the um okay so the camera angle was I've heard that that was a problem and on a lot of things on the toy box I was so annoyed because the keyboard do not okay it's practically impossible to play the game with the keyboard unless you're like a like a hardcore person but basically um, they released an update to fix that and it kind of fixes it it it's okay um, another issue I have is that you can't really change the video effects which sucks um, so many like problems um, were mostly with the controls. Um, one of the other uh, problems that wasn't the controls actually was kind of like sort of uh, the text. It just kind of like it didn't really show you like in the text they gave you tutorials through text like Banjo Kazooie would. It didn't really show you that much like how do you talk to people? how do you do this how do you like, how to talk to people it took me at least maybe third 20 seconds to figure that out. That was that was pretty annoying. I I really didn't. I really was quite annoyed at that. By the way, the gameplay you see in the background is my own recording on Sonic Kaboom. I'll link that in the description below. You can check that out. So that's kind of like the main issues I'm going into. Now, what are the pod uh, positives? Um, I personally think that. Of this game is like I like I think that it recaptures what uh, Banjo and Kazooie was because I played I played some of the um, original I've played um, a bit of the second one or I don't remember what it's called Banjo and Tooie Kazooie I don't it has Tooie and Banjo Kazooie and Tooie I don't remember which one it is how to put it but uh I've, and I also played a bit of Nuts and Bolts, yeah, on Rare Replay. Eh. But I think that it recaptures what the series was a while ago, and I think that's the thing that they need to do rather than making a racing game, and you have to go around, and there's people that nobody cares about on the Xbox One. Anyway, so, um, yeah, like, that's kind of the point of it, to recapture what Banjo and Kazooie was. And other things that was, um, that I was, that kind of surprised me was that you like uh the game was cheaper on steam but it's like practically um i was uh seeing some things that it was full price on console it might not be but i just saw something about it being full price if it's not then like i'll double check and i'll just leave a disclaimer saying oh it's not full price but that's like um just some basic kind of things that i were surprised about and that one thing I completely forgot to add it. This is after editing. Um, the music in the game is phenomenal. Uh, if you can hear in the background, that is uh, music from the game. It is Jungle Challenge by David Wise. It'll be in the description below. That song. That's like, oh, that's a really good song. One of my favorite. That's like one of my favorite gaming songs. I love songs that are kind of in that classical kind of thing. So, um, yeah, I'll get back onto the other stuff now. Um, oh yeah, that reminds me. So, in case you don't know, JonTron was originally invited to be in a voice clip for this game. I, I really would have liked it if JonTron stayed in. He actually didn't, um, cause he had a racial, um, viewpoint, which he, uh, 
he called off later, but he still got taken off of from Platonic Games, which I don't agree with. I think that people should have their own opinions. Yes, if they're quite racist, then maybe they, um, may, of course people aren't going to trust them. But other things like, um, just basically other things like people saying, I... I just think that, like, this is what I think, and that's it, that's final. Kind of what John Tron was saying is fine. Now, I, again, if John Tron was in this game, that'd be a big sell for me. Really wish he was, but, yeah. So, anyways, that's kind of the main things to say about the game. Now, I am going to have to go on to another disclaimer that I've only played around 30 to 40 minutes of the game. I'll be uploading another part, I'll up part two tonight, actually. So in case you want to see me play more of it, it'll be in um, on Sonic Boom, which is my gaming channel. And that's kind of my basic thoughts on it. Kind of first impressions. As of a full on review, I think that like that the game, like lots of people were saying that the game got like the game it's without its flaws, but it's good five out of ten. Personally, I think that um, to to give it a final rating. From what I've played, I think that the game is an easy 7 out of 10. Uh, that's, that's pretty high for what it is. It's, and that's like a pretty good rating. And is it worth the money? Yeah. And um, of course, you have to think about if you have a really strong PC. I have a pretty good gaming PC, believe it or not, even though mine was lagging. That's because I didn't have OBS all configured with the game. But that was kind of like... Um, that was the things. But if you buy it on Steam, make sure you have a good computer. If not, just get it on a console because that's the point of consoles is to play video games. And as of the actual, like, as of, um, what I think of the game in the final, here's what I have to say. So, from what I've played, the game is fun, and while it's not very addictive, it still recaptures what I think that Banjo and Kazooie could do well, and, um, lots of, and they weren't able to recreate later on. Do I think this game is a must-buy? Yes, as I stated before. Do I think that this game will, um, has some flaws? Yes, definitely. Definitely a lot of flaws. And, of course, if they update it, I may even update my rating. Depends. I don't, lots of people don't do that, but I might update my rating if they up, come up with an update and it change stuff. But that's kind of my final thoughts on it. So, uh, later on, I'm probably going to do another review of the actual storyline in the full game because, spoiler, just because people will have played it by then, and then spoilers will be out the window. Just because I really don't like spoilers, I just don't think that people should have the game spoiled for them. So, hope you enjoyed. Please give me anything I can improve in the comment section below. And, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and see you.